Good morning and welcome to the Tow Tracker channel. And today, me and Tristan, say hi Tristan. Hi. We've come to Holland, the Netherlands, to Eftelen, the famous theme park that's here. We've never been here before. Uh, oh, one thing, I haven't got a muff on the mic and it's quite windy today, so there may be some wind noise. I apologize in advance. But uh, yeah, let's see what Eftelen has to offer. Tristan are actually stuck on the ride at the moment. Yeah. All the other boats are overtaking us and we're stuck at the side of the wall. Time for a crash. Maybe that's just moved us. Yes! We're moving Tristan! Or are we? Uh, yeah, we want another boat gonna come give us a push. Come on, get that. Yeah, we've got a push. We're going, we're moving. It's fine. I wasn't worried at all. Uh oh. Ready? No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, don't you dead. <laughs> so that was our first ride of the day, Piranha, a very very good uh, rapid boat ride, really enjoyed it, didn't get too wet, well I didn't, somebody else did, anywho we're going to have another look around, see what else we can find. So that is Baron 1958. The theming on this ride is fantastic. 3D project projections, animatronics, everything like that in the pre-show. The ride itself was fantastic. And 
They also have a couple of XL seats for the larger rubbers. Now I didn't film on that ride, although you are allowed to film on the rides in f -Talon. Unfortunately you have to have a chest mount, and my chest mount is in England. Yeah. So uh, they won't allow you to carry the cameras. And if you haven't noticed already, because you're getting rain on your face, it's chucking it down. And as we expected, this early in the season, although this is an all-year park, but it's still uh, early in the theme park season, there's a lot of the concession stands and shops closed. And it is fairly quiet today anyways. And it's still raining. And this roller coaster to my left is the Python. Now I've sent Tristan to go and do that one by himself because it looks a real head banger and I don't really want to have a headache today. Yeah, you know the real rattly ones that uh, shake your brain about? That is the Python. Well, unfortunately Tristan's come back because the Python has broken down. So, uh, yeah. Look for something else now. So we've just done that wooden roller coaster, which is there. I don't know how to say it in Dutch but it is George and the Dragon. Uh, it was something like Joris and the Drac, I think, I think. Don't, don't get me wrong for my pronunciation, but it's George and the Dragon. And it's a dual roller coaster. You have a race and they declare a winner at the end. And it was awesome. Very fast, one of the fastest all wooden roller coasters I've ever been on. And uh, yeah. Unfortunately, this coaster is still under construction and it looks a good one. It ends with a water break right here and then turns into a semi boat ride to take you back around to uh, the theme building. Awesome. Theming in this park is on par with the theme parks in America, in my opinion. Every area has its own theming, and this is the medieval area. So we had that, we have George and the Dragon, etc. etc. Good park so far. One thing I have noticed about this park, you get real close, and I mean real close, to the roller coasters. And it's only a little fence. So you really get to experience um, the, the speed of the roller coaster that goes past. I mean, look, it's just there. Awesome. And this theme park is rather maze like. Everywhere you come, there's a left and right turn and you're not sure where it takes you. So this has took us back round to Baron 1898, sorry, and uh, the drop hill, which is awesome. Have you ever seen as much smoke and steam effects on a ride as this?
and there is the world famous floating platform hopefully that's on today I can't see anybody on it but uh, that is something I want to go on because this park is quite famous for it Gondoletta. How long is this ride, Tristan? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 <laughs> minutes on a boat. And we're not allowed to rock it. And we're not allowed to rock it, no. Don't rock the boat. You tip the boat, baby. But do not worry, I will not subject you to 20 minutes of watching the world go behind this boat. I will just put on the highlights. If there's highlights. Well, that is uh, 20 minutes of my life I will not get back. Yeah. Um, what to say about the boats. If it was a hot day and you've had a long walk around and you want somewhere to rest your legs for 20 minutes, go on the boats. But not when it's cold and wet and windy, like it is today. Because all that'll happen is you'll get cold and wet and you'll get the wind which you can probably hear right now and yes I was going to say you get windy and I had to stop myself because uh, if you get windy that's an entirely other matter <laughs> and this is a new attraction which will be open next year 2024 so I'm guessing this is quite a big attraction for it to take over a year to build and it's called Dance Macabre looking at the poster there it looks like it's gonna be some sort of horror area I will try and find out more and I'll let you know so according to the website uh, dance macabre is actually a full area it's a themed area so in in 2024 F Talon will open a terrifying new themed area with a new attraction that will make you shudder like never before dance macabre in addition to a new attraction the theme area will consist of catering a souvenir shop and matching entertainment so uh we may have to come back in 2024 to have a look at that. But as you can see, lots of construction work. So we've came to the uh, Alpine themed area with the smell of log burning fires because we'll have a wooden fired stove here. I'm not sure where it cooks. Hot dogs. Right first. Anywho, we're going to go into... Oh, I'm not even going to attempt to... How, how am I supposed to say that? Have a look. 
what on earth does that say? But anywho, this is where we're going. We're gonna have our food in here. So uh, see you inside. So we've getting some pizza. Tristan got a uh, margarita, I'm getting pepperoni. And some, uh, they call it lemon curd, but I think it's lemon meringue pie kind of thing. So the pizza is quite nice. It's very bready, very thick. And uh, yeah, it has a very bready base, but uh, not bad. So we're heading up the queue line for Symbolica, which is apparently a trackless ride. So I'm guessing something along the lines of uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runway Mine Train, which is in Florida. I don't know. No idea. And Ratatouille, as Tristan just said over my shoulder there. That's what we're sort of expecting. What we get, maybe something different. was Symbolica. Sorry, there is some construction going on there in case you can't hear me very well. But that was Symbolica and honestly, it was a really good ride. I really enjoyed it. Reminded me so much of like Ratatouille and like I say, um, Mickey's Runway Mine Train. It was just a nice, slow, gentle ride. Loads of laser mapping, loads of animatronics, loads of special effects and uh, yeah, just a really good family ride.
een jonge prins zit op een avondzaal. Bezocht ook hij haar poosje. En ze werden op slag verliefd. De toverkool die hun liefde ontdekte, werd zo boos dat ze Rapontjes vlecht afknipte. Ik zal je verbannen naar een onherbergzaam oord. Van verdriet sprong de prins uit het torenraam, waardoor hij blind werd. You, uh... You don't see area like that at Disney, do Um, that was a rather large area, big building, for that little show. I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but anywho, on to the next. Theemakers gingen aan het werk. Dit was niet zomaar iets. Ze knipten, weefden en naaiden het allermooiste. Maar hij heeft niets aan. Hij heeft helemaal niets aan, die plots een kleine gang. Het was even stil. <laughs> Jonge boompjes om te hakken. Oh, andere boompjes. Op het einde van de dag lag er al een heel stuk van het bos plat. Wolf was best trots op zichzelf. Straks kon er ook Katje zich nergens mee verstoppen, grijnsde hij. Oh, mevrouw, was dat maar goed gevlogen? Tja, Wolf had iets over het hoofd gezien. Als hij alle bomen rooide, kon hij... Something I've noticed about these fairy tale stages, they are huge for the animatronics that's in them. Um, yeah, they take up a lot of area. Pretty good though. part to walk around that's if you can hear me over the top of the screaming kid like but uh, these koi are huge
See what I mean? This huge building behind me for quite a small carousel inside. But I do see a steam train, Tristan. It's a miniature steam train, Tristan. He doesn't like going on the small trains, but I do. Okay, I take that back. There is actually a restaurant in here as well, and toilets, and like a huge model of the of the area up there. So yeah, this is inside that huge building. Inside of there is where the carousel is. Sorry. So that ride and this huge area for that ride is called Fata Morgana. I had some uh, Pirates of the Caribbean vibes going on on that, very similar to Pirates of the Caribbean ride in USA, but I actually enjoyed it better. I thought it was fantastic. Well, that will just about do it today from us here in Eftalen in Holland or the Netherlands depending on which one you use because it can be used both ways so we're going to walk back to the van now then we've got ourselves a three hour drive to get back down into Belgium Ostend where we're staying tonight and then an eight hour drive tomorrow whoop whoop chicken soup I don't think so see you all in the next one sorry about the wind now it's time to do your job <laughs>